So the first must start that we're going to talk about the quarter acquisition is going to be Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton's taken on a Steelers team who's giving up the fourth most points per games to quarterback. Now, Dalton isn't the most consistent quarterback that we have, but he has a really big opportunity for a 300 yard game. I mean, let's think about it. You have the Steelers on the opposite side. They have a rookie at quarterback. Their running game hasn't been that good, and they're just prone to turnovers. They got rid of Chase Claypool. They still have two excellent wide receivers on the outside. They're going to be doing a lot of three and outs, though. That rookie quarterback is not really putting together the drives just yet. I think he's going to be a great quarterback in this NFL, but right now the Steelers are just doing a lot of three and outs. They're not able to sustain those drives, not able to put up the points. That's going to give the ball to Andy Dalton quite a bit. And with the Steelers secondary really not stopping anybody, I feel like Andy Dalton is in a prime position to put up some good numbers, especially with his number one wideout, Chris Olave. Andy Dalton should be a must start this week. Now, the next must start we're going to talk about is going to be Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson gets to come off of a bye week, taking on the Titans, who's given up the six month points to opposing quarterbacks. Now, since they are coming off a bye week, I expect things to kind of click better. They should have used this time to get together, making sure everybody's on the same page. So that way the offense is really running a lot smoother, I would say. Now, the Titans secondary really isn't that good. There should be plenty of opportunities for Russell Wilson to be able to go down the field to Cortland Sutton, to Greg Dolchich. I mean, to all of his receivers, even Jerry Judy, he's been doing really good lately linking up with him, especially on those long, deep balls. The, the Titans are giving up the most 20-plus yards uh, per, per pass attempt in the NFL. They can't stop that deep ball. I think Russell Wilson is going to have a couple bomb plays, and he should be in your lineups this week. Next must start we're going to talk about is Trevor Lawrence. Now, Trevor Lawrence gets to take on the Kansas City Chiefs this week, who's given up the seventh most points per game to opposing quarterbacks. Now, he's going to need to keep up with Patrick Mahomes this week, so you know Trevor Lawrence is going to sit back there, have a very high passing vibe if they even want to be in contention of winning this game. Trevor Lawrence does have weapons, and now that he's got Travis Etienne as the sole back, his old college roommate, I mean, he's going to be slinging the ball all over the field. Look for everybody to get involved. He's got plenty of weapons to go around, and he should be able to put up a solid stat line for you this week. Now let's move over to the must starts at the running back position. And yes, I'm actually going to go over Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott gets to take on the Packers, who's giving up the third most yards per game to opposing running backs, and he should have plenty of opportunity to shine. Now I know Elliott has been seen by many as the inferior back out of him and Tony Pollard, but I do believe Ezekiel Elliott gets back on track and shows you why he was drafted in many cases, maybe in the first round or early second round in everybody's drafts. I think the Packers really aren't stopping anyone right now. They don't have a very good team. I believe they're like three and six right now. It's just, it's not somebody that you really want to hang your hat on and say, oh my gosh, look, they're going to be in a negative game script. No, the Cowboys are probably going to win this game and be winning for most of the game. Here comes Ezekiel Elliott. Should have a nice fantasy week this week. The next running back I'm going to talk about is Jeff Wilson Jr. Jeff Wilson Jr. did come over here from the 49ers. Now into a head coach that he's used to before. He's going to be in a running game. He's kind of in a two-headed monster with Raheem Mostert. They get to take on the Browns right now, who's given up the third most points per game to opposing running backs. Now, Mostert and Wilson both had nine carries last week, but Jeff Wilson Jr. actually outproduced Mostert, and it wasn't even close. Wilson Jr. is definitely the better running back, and I believe he's going to show out this week, show the coaches and everybody else why he should be the featured back in his backfield. Start Jeff Wilson Jr. with confidence this week. Now, the next guy we're going to talk about is Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams, I believe, had 24 carries last week. This week, he's going to go against the Bears defense. has given up the six most points per game to opposing running backs. As long as Swift is on the mend, it's going to be Williams' backfield. Now, we know Swift is going to be playing, and we don't know when he's going to get his natural volume back. But as long as Williams is getting the volume, he's going to be a killer play this week against the Bears. Get them in your lineups. Now let's go over and talk about the wide receiver position of people you should must play. And we're going to start with actually Chase Claypool. He's going up against the Lions defense, who's given up the fourth most points per game to opposing wide receivers. Claypool should get a larger snap count this week now that he's getting used to this offense. Last week didn't really get what he should be getting, but he had to learn the playbook first. I believe this week is going to be a lot more smoother, a lot more calmer, especially with Justin Fields throwing him the ball. He should be the number one target 
uh, in this offense, passing up Darnell Mooney sooner rather than later. I think this week you're going to see some nice plays out of Chase Claypool. Get him in your lineups. Now we're going to talk about Chris Olave. We kind of touched on him a little earlier. They're going against the Steelers defense, who's actually given up the most points per game to wide receivers. Chris Olave sees plenty of air yards. He's actually one of the biggest air yard receivers in the NFL right now, and he could find plenty of big plays this week against the Steelers defense, who really can't seem to stop anybody. Chris Olave should be a solid, solid wide receiver for you this week. Now the last wide receiver to go over is going to be Christian Kirk. Kirk goes against the Chiefs, who's given up the seventh most points per game to wide receivers. Again, like I was talking about earlier with Trevor Lawrence, they're going to have to throw the ball quite a bit. They're going to have to keep up with Patrick Mahomes. I see Christian Kirk getting 10 plus targets this week because it really should be a shootout. Christian Kirk should have every opportunity to be successful for your fantasy team this week. Now we're going to go over to the tight end position, talk about some must haves here. And we're going to say Cade Otten is the first guy who you must be putting in your lineups. They're going against a Seahawks defense that's going to give up the second most points per game to opposing tight ends. Um, he's just starting to gain that trust from Tom Brady. And you can actually see that, you know, injuries over this whole season, not only to the tight end position, but to the wide receiver position on this offense has given Otten a chance to shine. And boy, has he taken it. He's starting to get that trust from Brady, which means he's probably going to throw him to him a while. You know, it's just these wide receivers, they keep dropping the ball and he's going to go over to somebody who he knows can catch the ball. And that's going to be Kate Otten. Get Otten in your lineups. Now we're going to talk about Greg Dolchich. Dolchich gets to go against the Titans defense, who's given up the eighth most points per game to opposing tight ends. He's becoming that huge middle of the field type of target threat that this offense has really been looking for. He's developing into a solid tight end that Russell Wilson is really feeling confident throwing the ball to. He's somebody that you can have and, and you can probably get him for free. He might even still be on your waiver wire. Go get this guy. I'm telling you, he's he's somebody that's really going to shine. He could be a, a, a late round steal in a league winning type of tight end for you. Grab Greg, Greg Dolchich and you could pretty much start a week in and week out. Now, the last tight end we're going to go over as a must start this week. And I know I'm going to throw up while I'm saying it, but I'm going to say Cole Komet. They're going against the Lions defense who's given up the fourth most points of the game to opposing tight ends. You know, it, it really does make me sick, but Justin Fields is starting to play really good and he's starting to get people involved. You know, I'm not extremely confident in Cole Komet because of what he did early on in the season, but if he can keep catching these touchdowns, I mean, he's going to be somebody you have to look at. He's probably in your free agent list because a lot of people probably dropped him. He's somebody you can plug and play, especially if you're starting tight end is on his bye week. Get Cole Komet in your lineups. Now onto the Bengal Tiger starts of the week. The first Bengal Tiger start of the week that we're going to talk about at the quarterback position is Justin Fields. Justin Fields is going to be going against the Lions defense who's given up the third most points per game to opposing quarterbacks. He rushed for at least 47 yards every week since week three. He's only getting better. I had starts of the week so far. I mean, I've had everybody in these lineups so far for these starts. We've had uh, Chase Claypool. We've had Cole Komet. We've had a lot of people in here and Justin Fields, he's going to be leading the pack. He's definitely going to have a lot of points this week going against the Lions defense. Who's going to be able to stop him. Get Justin Fields in your lineup for the Bengal Tiger start of the week. Now let's go over to Saquon Barkley. Now he is going to be the running back Bengal Tiger start of the week. Going against a Texas defense, giving up the most points per game to opposing running backs. He should absolutely dominate the Texans, staying in a positive game script all game long. And he is the main producer for this offense. He's the one that everybody goes to. They hand it to him 20 plus times a game. It's just somebody you need to get into your lineups if you have them. If you have them in your team, you probably drafted him in probably about the second round this year. And man, you are loving his production. Get Saquon Barkley in them lineups. Now over to the Bengal Tiger starts of the week for the wide receiver position. I'm actually going with Cortland Sutton here. He's taken on the Titans defense, giving up the third most points per game to opposing wide receivers. And I know he's been disappointing as of late, but like I said earlier, when I was talking about Russell Wilson, you know, the Titans give up the most 20 plus yard catches in the NFL. Sutton should definitely get back on track this week. He should be the number one target for, for Russell Wilson. And if you have Cortland Sutton, get him off your bench. Put them in your lineup and you're going to be happy you did. Get Sutton in your lineups. Now, last but not least, the Bengal Tiger start of the week for the tight end position. We're going to talk about Tyler Higby. Higby's going against the Cardinals defense who gives up the most points per game to your tight ends. I tell you guys all the time, if whoever's playing the Cardinals get that tight end in your lineup, it just so happens to be Tyler Higby. 
Now, Higby did have one target last week for zero fantasy points, but we can't live in the past. We've got to get these guys in and look ahead. The people probably even dro dropped Higby, somebody you can pick up off of free agency, get into your lineups. I think Tyler Higby's going to have a nice big game against the Cardinals defense. Get Higby in your lineups.